Hi, I'm Joe McCanta, the Global Head of Mixology and Education for Grey Goose. The Martini Cocktail is the icon of the cocktail world, and it's as famous as it gets, the most personal of drinks. How do you like yours? Gin or vodka? Dry or wet? Olive or twist? Dirty? The choice is entirely yours. What other cocktail lets you do that? But it has a lot of people confused. Is a martini made with gin or vodka? Is a martini shaken or stirred? And of course, with the variety of martinis available, what kind of martini should I order? In this video, we'll cover this and much more. So you'll feel equipped the next time that you're thinking about ordering or serving this king of all cocktails. But first off, our philosophy around the martini. The wonderful thing about the martini is that it's much more than a drink. The martini really and truly is a mindset. Allow me to elaborate. The martini is an invitation into something wonderful. I even call this the cheeky martini moment. A smile and a wink that signals a moment where a step change is about to take place. At Grey Goose, we believe that a martini cocktail is an occasion, a celebratory moment, not just a cocktail. Think of it more as a verb than a noun, more a state of mind than a drink. It in itself is inherently playfully suggestive. It can signal a moment of change in atmosphere and spark conversation even from the second the name is mentioned. Martini, anyone? Of course. Ultimately, the martini cocktail is the most personal of drinks. One that begs the question, how do you have yours? Well, the classic martini is a drink that, like Grey Goose itself, is made of just two ingredients, but holds infinite possibilities. By now you may be thinking, how do I make one? And here's the fun part, there's no right or wrong way. The first question, is a martini cocktail made with gin or vodka? There's no wrong answer here. Gin will have a bit more of a botanical piney note thanks to the juniper at the heart of the spirit. But Grey Goose is a vodka that was really made for the martini and I suggest you give it a try. The fact that we are distilled and filtered only once means there's a rich round mouthfeel which truly blossoms in the martini cocktail. A slight sweetness owed to our French winter wheat base and notes of citrus on the nose makes it an exceptional pairing with vermouth and creates such a satisfying drink. Once you've decided on your base, it's on to the next series of questions. Although it's often known from a secret agent movie as shaken, not stirred, there are a few simple questions to be asked either of yourself or by your bartender to start you along the journey. For example, on the rocks or straight up? This simply means do you serve it over ice or stir it over ice and then strain it? Dry or wet? That's how much or how little vermouth you would like. Vermouth, by the way, is an aromatized wine that is an essential ingredient to the martini cocktail. And to tell if you like it or not, simply ask to try vermouth alone the next time you're at a bar. I actually love what it brings to the cocktail, which is usually a hint of savory sweetness and a bit of complexity. With an olive or a twist, or how else would you like it garnished? Well, that's, that's a question as well. A twist of lemon will add a little bit of citrusy brightness to the drink. Or you could drop a cocktail onion in for a Gibson, which adds some sharpness. A savory olive, or even a dash of olive brine to make it a dirty martini, that adds a Moorishness. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. And perhaps the most hotly contested of all questions, shaken or stirred. Well, we at Grey Goose believe that gently stirring over great quality ice allows for the most amount of control over temperature and dilution to ensure the finished article is perfectly balanced. Another fun fact is that whilst a shaken martini is much colder right when it's poured, it quickly warms back up to room temperature, whilst a stirred martini stays beautifully chilled in the glass much longer. There are, of course, a myriad of martini cocktails that are designed to capture all sorts of tastes, moods, and occasions. For instance, your taste might favor something sweeter, and of course there's a martini for that. The lemon drop martini might be just the ticket for you. A tangy, sweet, citrusy drink made with Grey Le Citron, orange liqueur, fresh lemon juice, and finished with a touch of simple syrup. There are small bite-sized short martinis, long martinis served with a bit of effervescence over ice, and a whole myriad of other options. We could talk about these choices for days, but talk is cheap. The best thing to do is get out there and discover your own personal taste for yourself. And discovering is the most fun part. Now that you know all the different ways to order a martini, let me end this section with a brief introduction to the ultimate martini, in my eyes at least, the Grey Goose Martini Cocktail. For me, this is the gold standard of martini cocktails. And this recipe enables Grey Goose Vodka to showcase its long, satisfying finish. It's not too dry, and it calls for a combination of Grey Goose Vodka 
Nolly Pratt original French dry vermouth, and a dash of orange bitters. All stirred down over good quality ice until ice cold and strained into a martini glass. And there you have it, the Grey Goose Vodka Martini Cocktail. I hope that you are now well and truly equipped to begin or continue enjoying the martini cocktail as much as I do. For more videos like this on Grey Goose, keep watching. I'll see you in the next one.